Okay guys, the uh, Morrison tent is here and I put it on the pack. I haven't set it up yet. I just took it out of the box, put it on the pack, see how it looks. And I also bought the, uh, the floor protector, um, the footprint is what it's called. So this is an additional uh, about a half a pound. And this tent doesn't have the protector like the other little tent that I had, that I have. So that's one issue. Uh, it's an additional weight. It's the one from the same company, Mountain Smith. The, uh, the pack, believe it or not, is a little lighter now because I did <coughs> a couple of things. I removed the, the honor bag that it was here and it made it a little lighter uh, by reducing this bag at the bottom I also reduced storage area to to load it up with stuff more than I needed so what I have here is the main bag ready and I got all my usual stuff I just minimized uh, a lot of the things that I didn't really need I'm taking the two knives obviously but I still have my my uh, emergency kit and and the, the whistle and you know the cotton and all that for fire uh, one lighter and I got this striker <clears throat> so also I have so I already picked out a new spot that I have to go check out uh, to see if it's gonna be uh, worth going next season and uh, we'll see when I get there but this is the bag. What I like about it is it's almost the same width as the sleeping bag. I could say it's the same width. So it's pretty, it's pretty uh, uh, short, but it's fat. This thing is fat. And I weighted it. It weighs five pounds in a bag with the plastic uh, floor protector, the footprint. It goes up to five and a half. It's a little on the heavy side. I, I was thinking about returning it and getting the Salida, which is 3.4, but the footprint it's it's smaller. This is 30 square feet, 35 square feet. The Salida is only 30. I'm gonna have to go with this, even though it's a little bit on the heavy side. But let me show you what I did as far as the weight. I just weighed myself, and I weighed. Uh, 203 as I am now <clears throat> and I also to reduce uh, the movement of the pack I moved up the clip that holds to the frame a little higher so that gives me a little bit uh, shorter so right now the pack so the pack it feels lighter is ready to go hunting except that it's missing uh, a few things like some knickknacks and some cookies and just miscellaneous food stuff and uh, I'm, I'm gonna throw that in so right now it weighs 35.5 pounds and I weigh 203.5 so it's 32 pounds 32 pounds and then the rifle is seven and a half it's going to be 38 pounds. That's that's a lot lighter than when I was taking it up to 45 and 55 and 60. So I just connect it up here instead of down here. I don't have the shimmying going on. Uh, well, I still do, but not that much. You know, it's if it's a lot lighter, definitely a lighter. I can, I can walk for miles with this thing. Now that I put this together, the frame will be about uh, to here, so then I will have room for this stuff here, for the pack, uh, for the sleeping bag and the... So maybe I'll just leave it as it is, keep that. I think I'm going to pack the meat on the frame and I can put this in the front. See, most of the packs that you buy, they don't have the, uh, 
I don't know if you can see it. They don't have the shoulder uh, straps, the shoulder belts on, on the bag itself. You remove the bag and there's nothing uh, behind it. This one comes with an additional shoulder belt, so I can hang this in the front. And I already tried it uh, this season when I left. I tried out the Batman's and put it in the front. And I kind of balance myself out and I say, you know what, it doesn't feel too bad. It's, it's something to think about. So I thought, uh, do it like that. Take the frame, pack the meat on the frame, tie it down, bungee, whatever. And then put the pack in the front. Because I always thought, well, I'm going to have to carry it by hand or whatever. I never, I never thought of the, 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 the hanging it out in the front, but it, it works out. So... And being that it's a lot lighter, I can I can do the trip one shot. Also on the 308. Oh, I don't have any anything ready, but I'm gonna buy a box of 180 grain round nose, and that's gonna be a backup ammo. So since my gun loads with a rock, with a clip, it's a lever, but it loads with a clip uh, ammo clip. I'm gonna have that 180 on my pocket, on the side, easy to reach, and if a bear pops up and it starts coming towards me, all I have to do is take the 150 grain bullet out and drop that 180 round nose that's got a real good impact, crank it in, and hopefully the bear will veer off and walk away. I'm not into killing any animal that is not going to be eaten, and I don't eat bear, and I'm not going to have to scan or anything like that. Um, those days, uh, I don't think people do that anymore. Uh, you know, the bear skin, unless you have a, a mountain cabin, but you know, nobody has that in their regular home, especially me and my dogs. <laughs> they're going to see that bear on the ground, they're going to go ballistic, you know, because they're hunters and they're going to be growling and scratching at it. So, anyways, it's just to protect myself. I'm going to take that bullet to protect that myself. I'll give him a, a warning shot. So I'll sprinkle some dirt in his face, just ricochet it, and if he keeps coming, then I'm going to have to empty. You know, just stop him. I have here food. I put the food in the main bag down here. I got the water. Let me see. Oh, and I also cut this foam. I don't know if, if I show the video. I don't think I have. I cut this foam widthwise. Because it was 36, I cut it down to 26, and also the length was very long. So I reduced some ounces, and this thing is easy to cut. Yeah. So did that, and there's the pillow, and I have here the emergency blanket, the canteen, my clothing, my cooking system. What's this? Oh, my drinking, um, this here, it's a good system, but um, I'm going to try something different, like the drip system. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Just reduce some weight there. And I got my pee bottle. Food, food, food. And, uh, you know, I don't think I have my long jean bottle in there. Gotta look for that. I got my hat, my face mask, toilet paper, ring gear, and uh, oh here it is. That's fine. And the laundry bottle. So basically, everything is there except that I'm not overloaded with food, and I gotta look into that because I'm not going to food to stay. Another thing I'm planning on doing. Being that it's so far for me to go out there, it's not worth going just for three days. I'm going to have to go for a full week, maybe even more. I was telling my wife, and I said, you know what, it's, it's, a, it's a trip and a half. You know, the gas, the expenses to make the trip, you know, gas is not cheap. And uh, I, have to, I have to make it... Uh, 
I have to make the trip worthwhile. I have to go and stay the longer the longer I can, the longest I can. And if I can stay with the, with the with the camp in the woods, if I can't for some reason, I can always go back to the truck and and stay another two days, maybe even three days. So that's the idea. But the pack, I reduced the weight dramatically just by tweaking it and thinking out of the box. I mean, just because you have room to take stuff, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you should, you should fill it up with stuff because you're adding more weight. So now I'm down to 33 pounds, which to me is amazing because this thing was never less than 45 or so, you know. So with the gun, I'm still in the 30s, 38. 30, and then with the tweak and everything else, uh, the, the jug and, and I'm going to throw some sardine cans and some other things. So make it 40. 40 is a very comfortable weight uh, for my 70. I used to do 70 and I went down to 60 and then 50. Now I'm down to 40 and I think I tweaked it uh, a lot. So when I do the final, like what I call it, the final tally, when I do the final tally and I get everything that I'm thinking of taking as far as food, because the gear is already there. It's just the food that I haven't really thought out. I threw in uh, the, um, the mountain food. Here we go. Yeah. I got two of these in there. That will give me, if I eat half, I think I, I tried that one time, I ate half, I could do it. Uh, and then you can, you know, add some more, uh, uh, you know, with a bar, energy bar, or some crackers or whatever. Uh, with these, I can do two days, you know. And, uh, and then the soups, I always take those soups because they always get you out of a jam. Uh, another thing that I'm going to take in more is going to be the, the um, this thing, the quicker. Uh, I've never been a big fan of oatmeal. Mm. But I do like the hot chocolate, when, especially when it's raining or cold. Take one of these and it gives you a good warm uh, feeling. So it, it, I might take one or two of these. And... Uh, on the coffee, they weigh nothing, so if, even if I overtake a few packets of this, it's still worth taking it because you won't want to have an additional cup of coffee. I usually have one a day and that's it, but you can have another one if you want to. So I got, I got enough, enough stuff to take. Uh, I'm not taking the, uh, I'm not taking the, uh, the, the grunt uh, deer call or the, I got a bleak call that I don't know what to do with it. That one works pretty good, but I gotta find the bleed call. It's a little thing like that, it doesn't weigh anything. I can put it in my pocket so I can take that. But the grunt is gonna stay. The GPS, I'm not sure. GPS, I'm not sure if I'm taking it. Um, I got this Magellan, uh, it's in color, it's really nice. And I think I might take it on this first trip because I don't know my way around that area. And if I'm going to go going over hills and going over meadows and then trying to backtrack, especially if, if it's uh, late in the day and, and it's uh, dark, I'm going to need that. So I might take the GPS and the G It fits well. It, 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 it packs well with my setup. And... Uh, I think I'll, I'll keep it. It's just that I was expecting a little more narrow bag, but you know what? It is what it is. If you get a bigger tent, you're going to get a bigger bag. It goes without saying, right? So I have to uh, I have to do that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using this setup because I lighten it a lot. And it's a comfortable, comfortable pack. All right, guys. So... I'll see what uh, when I do the the setup of the uh, Morrison tent.